navigation drawer is a panel that displays app navigation option. From the left edge to the screen is one of the most important and useful UI pattern. Use the by Google for developing Android app navigation drawer is site menu that helps all organize navigation inside your app. Same as this here. Same as the backdrop layout is used for this. The backdrop is composed of two surfaces a back layer or and a front layer. The back layer is the action and control preset control and perform the layers commands. There are two layers the back end and then so let's see here. This is the back back end layer and this front layer is the by on us directly to perform the action on uh, on your back layer so when we on the cell the back layer we can provide contextual information for the front layer when we when reveal the back layer to display context control that is the front layer so let's go start design of white drop layout so before the starting tutorial, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon button to get new notification. So, first of all, we are going to build model here. So, here add one bag, one backdrop layout, uh, dependency add here. Uh, here, click on this, click on this, click on this. Here it can be uh, download necessary resource files from internet. And then can be to, we can use backdrop layout here. So the required access file is added here. We want to .xml file. So here add. So not necessary for here. Before the starting initializing backdrop layout, we need to add some toolbar here toolbar for your match parent height. Uh, it is wrap content okay then here create id for this toolbar id and tool bar. okay then add title for this toolbar this title or this is pack control demo here add color for this impact drop layout for the title bar so add a color for this of text this title text color I want to add white color here so set the color so that use this so on impact drop layout here Set ID for this type of layout and this pack graph and create content layout for this set ID for content ID for content ID front view okay and for package back out back in add that at menu drawable this I have for this we need to add the presets then click on drawable I think that added one as menu to for the PX products can I get for that yeah. so for this closing for both drawable so here here okay. add app pick height app pick height here 50 56 dp okay and here add app animation duration for 400 ms then fit layout height time to the list so after that we need to add include this front end and back end include android color 
ID here of backend. Okay, let's set layout now. So here, set layout run backend back for the update for synapse include Android for the ID or front end for layout. So we need to add this layout. Layout resources here. Back end. We add layout resources file. Front end. Change color for this. Change for this. So for go on front end so where we want to add one slider so we need to add one on the dependency and dependency here go on the model so add this dependency I will provide a description copy that one I hope so you are just go side by side this the here the or add your slider so we are transparent and it is add slider com dot slider and id slider view so add this view for backend can be layout so add Transparent, transparent. We are generating ID for the time and point. The cable to this side. Here, add one other thing is match parent check. We want to add margin top. We want to point add a purple color. And we added this thing. That's why we need to add one list uh, here. So already here we added. In the array name pack demo one demo two demo three here string array right here so now we're going on to uh, main activity where we write java code to so, add those things things we are at here back drop layout okay but drop here for spider to create one Shift here paste it here we need to add here this backdrop layout is equal to backdrop layout we need to add one view view for this pertained backend so the view backend equal to backdrop layout dot child so it's called content Drop dot hit cheddar one list view stick for such find the button r dot i dot on stick for backdrop here and then we use this item on add adapter so here adapter array adapter this comma android dot r dot layout it creates simple item one or comma ls where we created here this to you then list view dot set adapter for that we need to add one array for where to store our list above list is equal to get resource or get resource dot get string dot where we store this uh, string list here we added 
here name is pack so here add things things already add slider view here slider view slider view list here image dot add here I already added some images in Troyable folder so r dot Troyable dot here timer task add to I add timer here so timer I'll add a first timer so here's a timer here the timer should be our code ready for the execution but one other thing is remaining for check that here here we not added uh, corners for this here and uh, we not set background and so fractal background color so I can here check that set it background color okay. Contain here ID is slider slider control slider okay try over the out so look at background here so I think here already exist where you can check that I am already created with that here. Uh, we need to add this code for a good program and uh, new layout resource XML file and add this code for this rounded corners. Okay, so we are adding this in front. End. This is our creative for this. So, let me check some what's here. After that, run this application. Let's see here, our application is now executing. So the power front view front end is not displaying. Yes, sorry for that. See here, some mistake there. I was set back back end layout for front end and front end layout. Like it. That's why they say it, it is so awkward. So I will resolve that and see the wrap now installing it correctly. So let's see that as our experience out here, our output is successfully exactly here. See here.